How's it going guys and welcome back to Discovery. Today we are going to be looking at the Ducati throttle spaces to get rid of this, this throttle slack that you get here. Okay, so what that is there, you see that little bit of slack that we're getting inside the throttle? It's called throttle slack and basically Ducati have purposely put it in um, on the on bikes that have ride by wire to, uh, uh, you're out there pal, how's it going? Um, follow Ducati friend there. Uh, yeah, so they put that slack in purposefully. And the idea is that bikes that ride by wire um, have a bit more play in it and it's designed to make it feel like um, an old school, you know, um, ca uh, cable riding system, you know, where, you, where you're physically pulling the throttle. But these days, all these throttles that they put on the new Ducatis are all electronic. So they don't have that old school cable feel, you know. Um, so they purposely put that in to make it feel like that. So what we're gonna do today is put on these Ducati spacers um, which are really really cheap modification you can do really easy to do so let's cut over to dip in the garage and we'll show you what we're going to do there thanks a lot for the intro there dip on the bike so here we have the ducati spacers they don't look like much but they're really really tiny little uh you know circular plastic kind of nubbins that will go inside the gear of the uh, throttle that we've got here so let's see what we're going to be undoing in the throttle gear and see where what we need to undo all right guys so here's the actual throttle uh, itself and then this is like the housing of the, the throttle there so here is what it means a bit of a close-up of the throttle slack can you hear it do you see that play there it's about probably about five mil worth of play that the uh, throttle has got in it so the whole point of the spaces are is that they fill in that void uh, in the in the assembly to kind of get rid of that slack so it's quite straightforward you've got four um, uh, screws that you need to undo um, two of them are your standard Phillips ones but also two of them are like this weird kind of triangular uh, one which is what you get in the kit is this kind of triangular um, little screwdriver bit for those uh, weird uh, ones that you've got there. So we're going to uh, go ahead and undo these screws here and then the housing should just split apart um, from the top and the bottom and it should just come out uh, just enough for you to put in the spaces. So let's go ahead with that. Okay, so the back side of the housing should come away quite easy once them screws have been removed. That will reveal these two little uh, bits here in the throttle. Can you see there? That kind of stick out there, that kind of jut out. And you can see how the mechanism works there with the play. And that's what these are for, you know, these little spacers. So they're supposed to like go onto those uh, little little things that stick out and they'll fill in the gap so you don't get that um you know that 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 slack you know while it's uh, rotating so let's just put them on there you know which one goes on which because they're both different sizes so uh, it could be sh straightforward really Okay, now I've got the bigger one on this side. Um, you know, it is easier to actually do if you take the bar end off because that allows you to slide the throttle uh, lever out and then it gives you more room to play around with. A bit, bit of a squeeze to put on, but once you do put it on, um, you know, I've got a plastic trim removal tool here and I just pushed it into place to make it a really snug fit. So I'm just gonna do the, uh, the other one now, which is uh, down here. Okay, so that's it. So once the, they're on, they should look something like that. And as you can see, it's got it's padded out the little gap there. And then when you put the uh, throttle back, you can see here, this is the gap in the throttle, but when you put that back there, just get it into place. 
there you go you can see that there's no like wobble in that throttle anymore um, it's a lot it's a bit stiffer might be worth putting a bit of a lubricant because it has got some lubricant that might have worn off just around there to keep it a bit you know so it stops it from seizing but then yeah that's it and then you just got to put the housing back on and then put it back into position So let's cut back to Dip on the bike to see what he thinks of it. Okay guys, we're out on the bike now and here we are. And I'm out with my boy Barney as well. Now I fitted the Ducati throttle spacer and immediately you can feel there's something a little bit different about how this bike uh, reacts to the throttle. Um, so you might, I mean, what I did is when I pulled out of the street before, I kind of actually stalled because I wasn't used to, you know, that throttle engaging, uh, you know, as quickly as it as it did, um, because obviously the, uh, normally it has that slack. So you'll have to, uh, you know, uh, take it a bit easy to figure out, you know, uh, to learn how to ride it with without the slack because you won't be used to it. But yeah, I mean, it's tightened up the whole throttle response of the bike. It feels like a bit different, um, especially when you get it in sport mode, because sport mode is a bit more uh, responsive to the throttle anyway. We're in touring at the minute, but the um, yeah, the sport mode, because it snaps on the power quite quickly. Um, it, it's like a match made in heaven with, with sport mode, because it's just like, whoa, instant. You know, it's just a lot more, um, you know, uh, reactive the uh, the throttle, and it's like it, it makes it feel a lot more premium as well. Like I, you know, Ducati should be fitting them, uh, you know, uh, making the throttles like that as standard. But yeah, it's, it's 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 almost like it feels like a more premium bike because there's no play in the in the gadgetry. So yeah, definitely definitely worth recommending. You know, guys, it's uh, it's a really cheap. Uh, modification and it's really simple and easy to do anyone can really do it you don't need much tools to do it it's a screwdriver um, and uh, you're good to go so here we go guys um, if you like the video please drop us a like and subscribe you know give us a comment if you've got any questions and uh, I'll catch you on the next one